So let's go over let's uh, let's go over this momentum chart real quick, and I want to go over this morning's uh, price action, and let's go over these zones. So this is one of our, our particular setup that we have set up for you guys on our workspaces on your own Ninja Trader platform. And what you want to try to do is this: the the, the whole methodology behind the software is try to find spots in the market to look for major possible reversals. And it doesn't matter if it's futures, stocks, forex, and you know, it could be currency, whatever it is. You know, we're looking to find spots in the market for major possible exhaustion points and reversals. So what we want to try to do with the software, we want to try to get these tops in, in downtrends before they even occur. We want a major heads up on these, and that's what the software does. So we're trying to find these waves where it shows us where the market is trying to reverse in an uptrend or downtrend. The best way to do it, this is our momentum chart. Now, our standard wave, we have a standard wave that we look for, which is right here this morning. It came up this morning on our wave, on the test of it. This is our standard wave we look for right into the zone on the first and second wave down. This is one of our setups. So this is our standard wave we look for. That's a retracement. We look for 38 to 45 percent retracement. But what happens is, is that what if the market has a lot of momentum? Um, how, how can you take advantage of the momentum of the market and look for retracements? I have three big zones. This is my outer zone. This is the sweet spot, I call it. It's where the market, uh, any given market likes to retrace 62% retracement. Um, so it likes to retrace between that 60 to 70%, 72% retracement right around that level. So this is a big zone that we have. We have our, our, our normal zone, this zone, this is where we had a big setup this morning. This is our standard zone, and then we have a shallow zone. Here's our shallow zone. So you have three big zones that, that I put into the software, and it's on, it's on the, um, it's Jiro made the workspaces for you guys for plug and play on any given market. So there's your shallow zone, there's your intermediate zone, and this is our outer 60%, over 60% retracement, more, more like 62% is the golden ratio. That is our outer zone. So what we do this morning's price action, you can see we had a beautiful setup here at 7.30 this morning, another great setup at 8 o'clock this morning, and this high, which is, uh, that just got uh, called here at uh, what 8.35 this morning, just here a second ago. So these are the three top zones you're going to look for on a daily basis. Uh, the, 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 the outer zone, you know, would be the, I mean, the shallow zone would be the one to look for uh, reversals in a hot market right there. So there, there's our outer zone, I mean, our shallow zone. So we want to try to get the shallow zone uh, when all these turn six red. We want to try to get the intermediate zone. We want to try to get the uh, the most outer zone. So the best way to do it, it's called a momentum chart, is you want to wait for all six zones to turn red. Now these are our ATR dots. Our ATR dots print a specific way. It's not like a standard ATR dot. Okay, this is an average true range of the market based upon my algo that I use. So once you get all six dots that turn red, once they turn all red, what we want to do is they all print red right here. We want to look for the first shallow retracement first. This is the this is where you, you're below all six ATR dots. You want to look for an opposite color speed bar, which is a volume spike in the market. You can counter trend traders coming in the market right here. And then what we want to do is we want to see our our, we, you can pull yourself in with an uni bar. Ninja provides an uni bar, Renko bar, which a lot of traders use. Or you can use our stochastic below, which gives a pull in when it gets below, uh, your magenta gets below the 90% or your red gets below 90% to pull yourself in right at this level. Stop levels will be just two ticks outside of those levels of the swing high. But you can see our shallow retracement is the first wave down, kind of nice wave down. These are these are good moves because the low in this bar is 24 and the low potential is 16. So that's an eight point S and P point move potential on the first wave. The first two waves are the best when they first turn all red or all green. I like the two first wave patterns. 
The second wave pattern comes up. I love when it comes right into my, this is my favorite zone. This is our normal zone. It's my favorite zone. It comes right up to it. We start getting green optic color speed bars indicating we're catching rolling position algorithms, rolling position traders, rolling position uh, um, traders that are trying to, to get into the market on the upside. And that tells us get ready for a reversal. When, when you get opposite color bars that print against uh, the ATR dots, red dots, you will look for green bars for setups, or, or green boxes. On green bars, you look for red boxes because that tells you when we're trying to look for reversals. So when the green box comes up here, there's your reversal, there's your pull in. Green boxes start printing here. We didn't get a reversal. And so here, the magenta got below 90, 90 at that level. So you would have sold at this level up here. So you look at the low of this bar. That's 24 and a half. That swing got as low as, what, 13 and a half. So there's a 10-point S&P point run between uh, the 8 o'clock to 8.30. For a half-hour trade, it was 10 to 11-point S&P potential run. All right, all based upon the algorithm calling this, turning all six red, all together showing major possible trend coming, and the first wave pattern, six, uh, second wave pattern is what you want. Your chance of success goes down once you get to your third wave pattern and fourth wave pattern if you're still below the shallow and intermediate retracement. I like the first wave. I like the second wave. After the first and second wave occur, we want to look for a deeper retracement. This is my outer zone. Once the deep zone comes in, I talk about this all the time before it even happens. I talked about this morning before it even happened again this morning. I said, listen, once the first or second wave happen, happens, we will look for the deep retracement to come in. Sure enough, right afterwards, after we talked about it, came up into the deeper zone, touched right on it into that nice zone that we have pre-programmed on your workspaces, touched right on it. You got the magenta going below 90% again. Your fill was the low of this bar. 26 and a half, and it got as low as what, 20 and a half, and that was a six point S&P potential run. So my point is, is what you try to do is you try to look for the first wave, second wave, deep wave. These are impulse waves, third wave, fifth wave, or I call it first, second wave, which is a three and five Elliott wave, and then you look for a <clears throat> possible <clears throat> deep wave. There we go. So as long as the market stays below our deep wave, you know, we're looking just continually to look for short bias in the market. So that's how you use this momentum chart. All six red, all six green. Look for the retracements to pop up. And if they're not all six green or six red, let me find all six green when they line up. If you get all six that line up, here we go. Hold on. It's choppy, choppy, choppy. Here we go. Here's all six red. So here's your two wave patterns. Once you get all six red right there. It finally turned all red, and then you look for your first wave pattern, and you try to get in inside of that short zone. So that's one way to use a momentum chart. A lot of traders just like to trade off this chart because it's very, very effective by itself. But what a lot of traders like to do is use our 8 Rinko, 8 Sim Rinko, which is a longer time frame chart, and they like to look for when the ATR dots start printing, and they like to look for the opposite color speed bar inside the zone to get reversals when it coincides with our main chart. And that's what happened this morning. That bar printed, zone printed exactly right inside the zone. So that's what's called 8 and 5 alignment. We talk about this all the time as traders that are successful in the room, inside and outside the room, how effective this trade setup is. Because what you're doing is you're getting confluence. You're getting a large time frame over here on the 8 sim right here. They're confluing with the small time frame. These setups are very, very, very uh, effective because you're using two, you're using two different time frames to to find zone trades with opposite color speed bars that come in to get that volume spike right inside the zone for those nice possible reversals. So a lot of traders like to use that setup as far as that goes um, to to help them out on determining when when to get into these setups. Now, if I look right now, um, is the 8 sim tra trending right now? No, we have no ATR dots pending on the, uh, our, our printing on the 8 sim Rinko, a large time frame. If I look on our momentum chart, you know, same thing. If I look over here on our smaller time frame, we just start printing now, but there's no opposite color speed bars. These are not agreeing. 
we do not we are not inside of a zone so there's no trade set up so what you do with this system is you just wait for alignment the key is waiting for alignment when these line up inside the zone and then you can pull yourself in with small with a small stop outside of the swing high or swing low and position yourself inside of the market as far as that goes um, when, when that occurs all right so that's how we trade uh, we have several videos uh, that we've done on this so far with the rhythm of this when these uh, ATR dots line up with the speed bars feel free to go back and play those